I'm here today to talk about Thompson's new PC series. It's a uh, continuous duty actuator um, designed specifically to convert from pneumatic actuation to electric actuation. And some of the benefits you'll realize from converting from, uh, from air to electric are the precise control you'll get on your machine. You're able to control velocity and position very easily. You'll also realize the benefit of having a lot more force in a, in a much smaller envelope. Uh, and the third benefit is the savings you'll realize from operating costs associated with air versus electric. Electric is a lot more efficient. You use energy on demand versus pneumatics where you use uh, air as a prime mover. It's very inefficient and very costly. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our new product development process for the PC series. Uh, what we did was we went out and we talked to uh, a lot of different customers, our distribution partners, uh, end users, and uh, OEMs. And uh, we, we really wanted to listen to what they needed in the product. So what we heard was that they were being pressed for shorter development cycles. Another thing we heard was that they're being forced to develop more compact machines. Um, and the last thing we heard was that they were looking for reliability. One quote really summed it up quite well for me. Um, it was, make it easy to use, make it compact, and make it last. So what I have in front of you now are two different actuators, right? This is our PC32, which is an electromechanical actuator. And this is an air cylinder that's an ISO size 80. And both of these actuators deliver 3,000 newtons of force. So same force range, and you can see the, the, the disparaging uh, difference in size of the two actuators. So basically what you're getting is four of the frame size 32 actuators that would fit in the same force uh, capacity as an ISO 80 actuator. Um, and what I've got here is a PC size 32. Um, and what we've done on the product is we've created a very smooth exterior profile. So we have a smooth exterior design. Um, there are no channels or cavities for uh, any collection of debris. And this is very, very important in the food and beverage industry where we, you need to wash the product down. We also, for food and beverage, have the need to have corrosion resistance. Uh, and our material selection was, was uh, again, suitable for that requirement. We have a stainless steel extension tube and adapter. Um, and then all of the extruded uh, aluminum profiles and plates are also anodized aluminum. There's a wiper here that would seal off the unit. Um, we also have the seals at all the gasket interfaces. We have a, uh, an O-ring uh, sealing point between the motor, which would be located here. Throughout IP65, uh, a very robust design from a sealing standpoint and very suitable for food and beverage applications. So again, what, one of the things that we heard from our customers and what they value is high reliability and long travel life. Um, and what you can see here is a PC40 actuator and the corresponding ball screw assembly that resides in the PC40. And then next to that we have a, um, a, the screw that would be in a competitive size 40 unit. So you can see the, 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 the large difference in the diameter of the screw. And what that represents in, in to, to the user, to the end user, is a much different travel life. And if we take the intersection point of 750 newtons of load, you'll see that the competitive screw only travels 2,000 kilometers, whereas the PC40 screw travels 8,000 kilometers. Now to give you a feel for that distance, the competitive screw at 2,000 kilometers would only represent the distance from Rome to London, whereas the PC40 screw would allow the travel from Rome to London and then continuing on from London to Chicago. So a great disparity in the difference of travel life, which will, again, give you much higher reliability and longer machine life. Another very great feature uh, for the uh, Thompson PC series actuator is that it comes designed with a quick and easy motor mounting feature. We refer to it as the Thompson ready mount system, and it will provide you with a very simple and easy, basically three-step installation. So what we'll do now is we'll have a side-by-side -side comparison with our Thompson solution and a industry standard uh, common ele electromechanical equivalent actuator and you will clearly see the amount of time you will save by going with the Thompson solution. So this is the assembly sequence where you have the Thomson PC series on the left and an industry standard equivalent actuator to the right. 
As you can see, the number of tools required to do the motor mount assembly, as well as the components themselves, are far less for the PC series. In three simple steps and just over three minutes, you will have the motor mounted to a PC series actuator, ready to install into your machine. And while the assembly of the industry standard actuator continues, let's discuss some of the additional benefits with a PC series ready mount system. First of all, it comes designed with a dual or straddle mounted bearing system, eliminating any risk of misalignment and also making sure that the shaft of the motor itself will not be subjected to any radial loads. This is important not only for noise, but also to avoid shortened life of the motor. And further, not only is the actuator itself IP65 rated, but also the PC series ready mount, all the way to the motor, providing you with a robust piece of equipment to be used in harsh environments where washdown or cleaning is required. So I'm, I'm really excited about the PC series and the uh, opportunity to talk to you about that today. Uh, we listened to our customers uh, and what we were able to deliver is a corrosion resistant design with high power density, simple reliable motor mounting. It's really ideal for pneumatic conversion. Uh, we have a very strong team of application engineers that are eager to work with you to help you optimize your machine design. Mm -hmm.